Welcome to World Oil's first deep dive video interview, where we'll discuss World Oil's technical articles with the industry experts who've authored them. I'm Alex Indris, news editor for World Oil, and joining me here is National Oil Well Varco's Corporate Vice President and Chief Technology Officer, Hega Kivernlin. In July, Hega co-authored an article entitled, Industrial Platform Harnesses Big Data to Reduce Costs, Increase Efficiency, and Safety. The article details the current trend in big data analytics in the E&P industry and highlights NOV's contribution specifically. Hega, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me, I appreciate it. First, can you explain the concepts of big data and big data analytics and how they can apply to the upstream oil and gas industry? Yeah, well, big data is probably the biggest uh, buzzword word in the industry today. And not only our industry, but in the industry in general. So everybody is doing big data. It's a big thing and everybody loves it, but we don't actually know what it is. And in my mind, the big data is how can we use data to make a decision? So big data is decision making. And, and I'm sure that the big data initiatives and that everybody's talking about is going to help the oil and gas industry tremendously in the years to come. And it's really how to make better decisions. How can we make better decisions? We have had a lot of data in the oil and gas industry for years, but we haven't used it. So, so that's what this new technology now is enable us to do, is how can we use this, this data, massive amount of data, and using data scientists that can take this data, clean the data, understand the data, and then put it together so we get a pattern. And then, again, the pattern can tell us something smart about how it's working. And how is NOV contributing to this new trend in big data technology? Yeah, again, you know, one of the, our, our saying is that we believe in purposeful innovation. You know, big data can be so much, but it's also important to focus on the right thing. And as an equipment manufacturer, our focus is first uh, equipment and how can we make our equipment better? How can we predict that that component on that particular part is going to fail in the future? And we're not going to say, oh, there it failed, then it's too late. We need to be able to predict that it's going to fail in two weeks or three weeks from now, because then we can make a decision earlier that we need to stop production or we need to stop using this machine and then change out the part. Another area where we will use the big data initiative is also for drilling optimization. How can we drill faster and smarter and safer? So it's those two areas where we are focusing our effort and uh, as I said, we don't want to sort of solve all the challenges that the industry have, but we want to solve those two issues within our company, within NOV. And your article highlights the industrial data platform specifically. Uh, what has driven investment in research and development for the new platform? Yeah, so, so the new platform is called Max, uh, and it's, it's a data platform, as you say, and we want to be able to collect data from our equipment that our customers own again, but to put that in one place. And the more data we have access to on our platform, the more we can, uh, can use that data and make our products better again. Uh, the smaller companies, for example, don't have access to a platform that way, and we can help them with that. So for our uh, process and flow technology group, uh, they're working on a lot of artificial lift uh, applications, for example, and we need to be able to communicate with that and store that data to make a decision again on how to operate that equipment and things like that. So that's why we need a platform ourselves that we can help everybody in the industry, not only the big ones that may have something themselves, but everybody. Several of the use cases you mentioned in the article included uh, being able to prevent failures on blowout preventers and drilling systems. Yes. And of course, you're using predictive data analytics to be able to do that. Um, can you explain to us how that's made possible? Yeah, that's, that's actually a, a great story because, uh, again, purposeful innovation. We need to focus on where the pain is in the industry. And the BOP, the blowout preventer, uh, especially the subsea ones, if that fails, we need to pull it up to the surface. We need to find out what's wrong with it and then change the part and bring it down again and then start drilling again. So in this period when a component has failed, 
bring it up, fix it, and down again. That can be, it's definitely days, but it can be weeks that we're not drilling because the BOP is out of, out of function. So, so if we can now predict that a component is going to fail before it actually fails, we, we can switch to the second control system because every BOP has two separate uh, control systems. And we can switch to the other one and we can continue operating on the BOP, meaning we don't have to pull the BOP up and then, then uh, fix it and down again. We save a lot of time and downtime of, uh, for the operator. And this has been 14 years of data that we have gathered uh, from, uh, from our customers that they have collected for a long, very long period. And we have then worked together with our experts in the BOP because just a lot of data, it, it's not solving everything. We also need the expertise from our uh, mechanical people and our instrument people and all that, the technical people that knows the uh, system. When the data scientists and the mechanical or the product experts are getting together, then we can get the result. So then they can say, you know, we have a problem with that one. Can we see a pattern 14 days or maybe three weeks before this fails? Can we see something happening here in the pattern? And that's what we've done. And we have we've now have uh, six or seven uh, specific items that we look at, at on the BOP where we can predict that it's going to fail before it actually fails. And this is a huge value for our customers. And Hega, as you look forward into the future, what types of opportunities uh, could be enabled by big data analytics technologies? Well, in, in, um, it's, it's many areas. As I said, it's drilling optimization, it's equipment optimization, it's uh, field optimization, so it's all this area where we can optimize how much we're producing or we're optimizing the uptime of the machines. Uh, it's, it's really all about how can this system help us make better decisions? Because with all the data that we're surrounding us, or that we have now, there is no way that you and me are smart enough, well, you may be smart enough, but I'm not smart enough to, to understand all, to, to, to to get all that data. So we need something back there that can do all the calculations and the maths for us and then present it in a simple way so we can take a decision. And that's wh where the big value is uh, in my mind. By making better decisions, we will be safer and better and faster. It will also reduce the, the maintenance cost for the customer uh, because we don't change it out, first of all, when it's in the best age of the, of the time when it's uh, running but also that you can postpone and change out the right components. So that's also uh, a way of um, saving costs for the customer. Well, Hege, we really appreciate your time and we'll look forward to learning more about these technologies as they're developed uh, further into the future. Thanks. So am I. Thank you, Alex.